Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. The church will stand up in reverence to the word of the Lord. We're going to word the word of, open the word of the Lord, which is in the Gospel of John. Chapter 4, verse 4, John 4, 4. We're going to read verse 4, and then we're going to read from verse 27. Has everyone opened? Did the children open? The children opened. What the Lord said the following. But he needed to go through Samaria. Now verse 27. And at this point his disciples came and they marveled that he talked with a woman. Yet no one said, what do you seek? Or why are you talking with her? The woman then left her, her water pot, went her way into the city and said to the men, Come, see a man who told me all things that I ever did. Could this be the Christ? Then they went out of the city and came to him. Only to this point. Lord, we praise your name. Our prayer is that you remain with us. We need a blessing. We pray in the name of Jesus. The church may be seated. Well, of Jacob, it was necessary to, for Jesus to go through Samaria. This says the word of God. And my brethren, everything that the Lord did, but everything that the Lord does, God has a purpose with it. And there is a benefit to man. The most difficult is that we are unable to see. Many times what God is doing or what God is saying, right? My servant, go that way or come here. Does that way, do it that way. But the Lord deals with us in that fashion. He always dealt with his servants in that way, trying to mani manifest himself and to speak with us. Always willing to do this. And the word in this text of the Samaritan woman, it is very interesting because, because he shows the need, the author, the writer of the book, John, he said it was necessary to go, to go through Samaria. And that in that episode, Jesus stays alone. And the Bible says that a woman came to take well water out of the well. And we are able to see that when this woman came, Jesus was already there waiting. Jesus was not waiting for any person. He was waiting for that woman. There was a blessing from the Lord. There was a purpose from the Lord in what the Lord was going to do that day. And then a dialogue starts. When that woman arrives, we all know, or many of us know, Jesus asks her for water. And the expression that Jesus uses was the following. Woman, give me something to drink. 
And the word says that there is there a, a conflict because Jesus was Jewish and the woman was Samaritan. And these groups, the Samaritans and the Jewish, they, they had a conflict between them, between these uh, cities. There was a disagreement. And because of this, they did not speak with each other very much. I'm not saying that was no one spoke with uh, on another, but there were many that didn't. And the woman says, you're Jewish. You're asking water to me? I am a Samaritan. So then she felt discomfort in that situation. And Jesus begins, he opens up his mouth and begins to talk to this woman. My brethren, when Jesus opens up his mouth to speak with us, no one can resist, right? No one can can resist. So the Lord tonight, he, he gave two spiritual gifts while we were praying for the service, before the service. And one of them was that an angel of the Lord was, there were angels in this place and they would bring from the Lord letters Pick up an envelope. You may be surprised. Tonight, pick up an envelope, the Lord. I cannot allow this letter to pass by me. I'm a little afraid, but I cannot allow your blessing to pass by. Pray, pray with yourself, Lord, I need. Don't allow the blessing of the Lord to go away. Don't allow the blessing to be lost. Because the Lord was already in this place here waiting for us in the same way that he waited for that woman. He sent his disciples away. They go ahead. There was a need there to buy food. But Jesus stays. He stays because the word says there was a need there. There was a need of salvation. And the Lord says that there is an, a need of salvation tonight. The Lord wants to do more. The Lord wants to give you more. The Lord wants to do with you the same in the same way he did with that woman. He wants to change the life of uh, change your life. Let's hear a song of praise.
Holy is your name, Lord. Glorify the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That woman now had no problem with the Jewish people. Because the Lord of glory entered into her, into her life. The disciple felt like it was not normal. It was not normal for a Jewish person to stop and have a conversation with a woman because of the culture of the time. But it was a church. When the Lord Jesus leaves this place, she goes to church. So then everybody, they all, it was a, a church that was starting. So the woman, the Samaritan woman, brought uh, several people to be with him. Jesus does not measure any effort to bless you, to take care of your life. And that woman, she uh, abandons her older life, and now she has one groom, who is Jesus. She gives her life to Jesus. Nothing else matters. She gives her life to Jesus. We're going to stand up and glorify the name of the Lord. The church, praising the name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus.
all receive our adoration, our service. Take us home in peace to our, to our houses with the blessing in our hearts. Continue with us. The prayer to say in the name of Jesus. The church should be seated. If anyone still desires a clarification or a prayer or assistance, we, the ushers, are here. We can help you and pray for you. Sunday morning, we have at 10:30 in the morning, we have Sunday school. In our Sunday service at 7:30 p.m. tomorrow, pray to the Lord. Invite others to come speak of the love of God to your guest. I'm sure that God is going to give a blessing to him and or her and to you and to all the peace of the Lord.